My, you really decided to show up. Hmm. You really do care about him, don't you? Hmm. Tell me, with the way things have turned out, do you not feel that mortal sentiments are a burden? An attachment towards another human is more trouble than it's worth. There is no need to snap at me. You should act a little more civil towards me, knowing that he is under my arrest. By extension, you are too. Walk over to me. Closer. Get down on the snow. I want your arms behind your back. Prostrate yourself for me. <laughs> this frost-bearing tree has been abandoned for eons. Ever since Dragon Spine was covered in perpetual snow, not a single soul has come to give it offerings. This tree, like the bones of Durin, has been left to rot. For far too long. No, you are only partially correct. Well, I do intend to make you part of the solution. I am not offering the tree your life. The tree would have no use for it. What the tree desires is something you can produce. To ensure that the product is pure, you will have to be in the best condition. I will have you here for several weeks to prepare. Don't worry about the snow. Don't worry about the incoming blizzards. While I am here, I will ensure that no harm comes upon you. Only when the ritual is complete, you will be free from your bonds. I will let you leave with your lover. Hmm. I knew you would not trust me at face value, but I cannot risk bringing 
your albedo out, even for just a while. He is too sly, too crafty, and I am sure he will find a way to help the both of you escape. You will simply have to trust me, your enemy. Of course, you may leave right now, but I know you won't. The mere thought of your albedo Getting hurt by me is simply too much for you to bear. Hmm. Come now. Enough glaring. I will take no pleasure in the activities we will have to perform. Alas, I too have my own burdens to bear. That said, you do have such a beautiful face. Even in this climate, your cheeks blush wildly. The shade of crimson agate. Yes, I knew when I first laid eyes upon you. Oh. Those months ago, the perfect human specimen. Hmm. You will please the tree greatly. <sighs> you dare raise your hand against me? <laughs> Remember whose life is on the line? Hmm? That's right. Your beloved Albedo. I will warn you now, and never again. If you struggle, if you fight back, I will cut off a limb from his body as penalty. <laughs> Would you like me to return him to you without fingers? Or toes. His body may be artificial, but as you and I know, he is more than capable of feeling pain. <laughs> Good. I am glad to see you've calmed down. Let's try this again, shall we?
Much better Then I will cease dallying Let us begin